earth was that all about? Well, cowboys, of course. I mean, I might have enjoyed it if I was a ten-year-old boy, but it was just boys and their toys again. Is that a bad thing? They're presenting themselves as if they're heroes instead of the land grabbers they actually were. Think of it as a bit of harmless escapism, that's all. I know what you're about to see, that they were just men testing themselves against the world. Well, that's important. Who says so? Fine, I'll stop it now. And another thing, where were all the women? I can't have won, she was a cook. She was a very pretty cook. Are you serious? What? She was. Oh, don't talk to me. I'm only teasing. I, I do see what you mean, really. It's depressing. <sighs> Let's turn the radio on, would you? <clears throat> of course. I'm not getting much. The Prime Minister has urged for calm after news from Washington emerged tonight that the Antarctic Treaty is on the brink of falling through. Neither Britain, the United States, nor Soviet Russia could reach a deal. And, in an increasingly nervous political atmosphere, there is now the risk that there will be no agreement to stop any act of aggression in Antarctica. After pinning the blame firmly on what he called Russia's continuing aggression, the Prime Minister warned that the next steps are far from clear, and that in this climate of mistrust, the world needed to stay vigilant. It remains to be seen who will make the next move. Hey, stop shooting, you mad fool! Oh, he's hit the engine! Hit the engine! What are you? What have you done? It's you, mate. Are you out of your mind? Sorry, mate. I thought you were a bloody Russian. Not a bad shot, though. I gotta catch us a gull for our tea. You hit the vehicle. The engine's dead. You satisfied with yourself? Never felt better. Took the last of those painkillers. A drop of whiskey sorted me right out. I thought I'd go for a walk. You need to get back inside. Is the radio on? Ah, yeah, I had to get away from those beeps. Better out here. Why didn't you just turn it off? Why don't you leave me in peace? Well, let's, let's get you inside. Ah, yeah, good idea. More whiskey. How are you feeling now? Ah, uh, a bit shitty. But better. Yeah, I just, uh, just needed that... that sleep. Mate, ah, uh, that bloody noise on the radio was driving me mad. Do you know there's a, a Russian voice that appears on that channel once in a while? Are you sure you're not hearing things? Huh? I might have been out of it for a while, but I know what I heard. Yeah, sounded urgent, whatever it was. Uh, same phrase over and over. Ah, oh, Jesus, it's the leg. Do you think the Russians are still out here? Ah, uh, bloody well hope not. Well, I hope someone's here. They don't want us here, you know. Why the hell should they save us, eh? You don't know that they wouldn't help us, do you? Whatever you found out there, you weren't supposed to see it. If you think some Soviet's gonna be happy to see you get out of here alive, you've got another thing coming. And personally, if I saw one out here, I'd make sure he didn't make it home either. Before he did the same to me. Alpha Romeo Lima, this is Faraday. Faraday station calling. Faraday station calling. Alpha Romeo Lima, this is Faraday. Faraday station calling. Are we glad to hear you? Hello? Uh, we did 
Yes, 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 I can hear you. You're going insane. Can you tell me your position? Over. Floyd, what's our position? Uh, 82 degrees south, 19 west. We're at 82 degrees south, 19 west. Hello? Hello, can you, t can you tell me what's happening? Why is everywhere deserted? Over. That's right. Again, it's too bloody sinister. Turn it off. Ah, oh, well, ain't that a beauty? I can't believe it. <laughs> They're coming. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, come on, you heard them. They're sending someone out. Oh, I hope so, mate. We're both in line for knighthoods if we make it out, that's for sure. You still need to sober up. Your government loves to give out honours to failed Antarctic explorers. Otherwise, the whole endeavour would just look nuts. Shackleton, remember him? Marooned most of his men on an island for a year. Oh, no, it can't have been like that. Robert Scott, he got the polar medal, didn't even make it home. Heroic failures. <sighs> just like us. Hey. How does Sir Peter Hamilton sound? Uh, anyway, that's if we make it out. <sighs> Hope to find us before the food runs out. Well, I found you again, didn't I? Yeah. You did, mate. You did. Which reminds me, how did you find the plane again? Uh, dumb luck. No, no, come on, seriously. Well, no, it was lucky. Spotting the flares that you sent up. What's that? I never sent up any flares, mate. Sorry? Uh, the flare box was empty. Not been checked in years, my guess. Bloody panicked me for a while. Are you saying there's someone else here? Search me. Why don't you take a look out? You see anything? It's too hazy. Wait! There it is. That's not far away. So there is someone else. Do you think they're friendly? Chances are no. We're gonna need more food soon. Put that down. This is from World War One. What do you believe? Don't mess with that thing again. You've done enough damage. Here. One bullet left. Why the hell do I need this? We know there's something going on, but we don't know who that could be out there. All I'm saying is, be on your guard. I'm not shooting anyone. Just raise it up when you approach, that's all. Make sure you're the one in charge. If in doubt, make sure you're the one that fires first. There's only one bullet. Just the one. <laughs> you better hope there aren't two of them. So? You're gonna wait around here all day then? You're gonna be alright? My whiskey mate, I'll be happy as Larry. And I've got this. So just keep that gun raised, you'll be fine. 
Make sure you don't get that knighthood posthumously. Peter, marvellous to see you. You've come at the right time. England are 37 for four. Terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. Something you wanted to let me know. There is. All right. Well, have you come to a decision? Clara and I, we, we're too close now. I can't take her off. I must say, I admire you. It takes conviction to stand by a principle like that. As I've always said, your decision. You will be fine. Good. You have a friend. What the hell? Hey, what, what are you doing? Get, get the hell out! This man is not in good condition. Jesus. Peter. What have you done to him? Maybe I saved his life. For now. For now? What, till your band of merry men turn up? We need to leave. Can this plane fly? What? Are you the pilot? Can this plane fly? Peter! Peter, what's going on? Why do you bring this damned Soviet agent in here? I didn't. We need to leave. You can bloody leave. The British are coming for coming. us. No, no. 
They're coming, all right. Just not for you. No, no, nobody is coming. You can think what you like. We're staying put, and you, my friend, can get the hell out. I tell you, there's nobody else out there now. We need to move. Oh, who the hell are you? What are you doing? I'm telling you to piss off you and however many comrades you have out there. You do not know what is at stake. You do not know anything. We will die here. We need to... We do not have time for this. Now, can this plane fly? It doesn't matter. We just need to wait till our guys arrive. What is it? Uh, is it the engine? We don't need to fly out. If it is the engine, maybe I can fix. How the hell did you get here in the first place? You must already have transport. He's... He's got a vehicle. Yeah, I had one. No fuel. No fuel? What, what happened out there? I... I didn't need to shoot anybody. The man is right. I'm not feeling very well, I think. Yeah, what's this about a vehicle? I told you, the vehicle is dead. But you have one. I saw it outside. Will it move? Uh, this man put a bullet through the engine. He's dead. He likes his weapons too much, I see it. Here. Give it. So, we need to fly or we die here. Die here? What's going on out there? Your friends, are they running from something? They are an explosion. They are dropping a nuclear bomb. No, no, you're wrong. Soon. You have radio? You have heard countdown? Beep, beep like Sputnik? That's, that's a countdown. Yeah, it's just a radiation warning. It is countdown. We do not have long. You you have heard it getting faster, yes? Yeah, Peter, it was on that frequency when I switched it off. See if you can get it. It is getting faster all the time. The faster it gets, the less time we have. We need to leave. No, they're coming. They said they'd keep broadcasting, so we knew they were on their way. And are they? Peter, turn the dial. Can you hear anything? Uh, hold on. What's going on? There's nothing there. Christ almighty. I am engineer. Maybe I could fix the aircraft if you would tell me what is wrong. Do we just need to pull it out of the snow? Is there damage? Uh, no, no, it's, it's in good shape. I saved the plane, but, uh, it's more complicated. Frozen carburetor, that's my guess. You have a lighter? Something to heat it? Uh, wait. Uh, uh, yeah. Then I can fix. Can I help? No, don't worry. If I am careful, it will be enough. Then we're all right. We're saved. Maybe. Maybe we are all saved. Jesus! What is happening? Saved by a Soviet? No, it's all right. We're gonna be all right. It doesn't matter where he's from. He might be the only man within a, a, a thousand miles who can fix this aircraft. <laughs> Lucky we found him. Yeah, lucky you couldn't shoot straight. He's... Yes! Well, what is it now? You say you land the plane well, but there's a hole underneath. Ugh. In the fuel tank. No. What, what does that mean? Can, can you fix it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can close it up, but that is not a problem. There's no fuel. Can you check again? There is nothing. Christ. Is there anyone else we can radio? It would be no point. They are all gone. We're screwed then. Yeah, un unless uh, th there is fuel in the wing tanks, maybe? Not this time. Flying light. Then we are, as you say, screwed. Yeah. 
Might as well make use of that lighter. Not your usual brand, I would guess. No. Thank you. Seeing as we're all doomed, might as well be mates. Ah. Take it, you don't have any out there anymore. Comrades. No. Why were you alone? I was uh, following everyone as we evacuated. Ah, uh, in the storm, we could not see each other. My vehicle ran out of fuel. I was behind them. They did not see me stop. Uh, maybe they reached the coast before they even realized. They just left you there? I was desperate. I prayed for them to come back, but uh, I knew they wouldn't. The snow covered our tracks, and uh, they had their orders. They wanted to survive. Yeah, uh, they would have been crazy to come back. <laughs> can't pull us both, eh? Well, your English is very good. I take it you're not a spy. This would be very bad spying. <laughs> no, I, I am engineer and a translator too sometimes. I, I could help translate British and American radio traffic. That makes me think, what were you doing here? All right. <laughs> In this new spirit of international cooperation, you, you might as well know it. I was asked to take this gentleman out to the big British science base down south. He was supposed to be studying there, that right, Peter? Climate science. The, the clouds. Yeah, that's what we told everyone, too. You were doing climate science here as well? No, officially. Unofficially, it uh, was a little more than that. You were studying something else? We were studying you. I am surprised you did not know. You have been studying us. No, I haven't done anything yet. I was meant to be studying climate science. Climate science, yes. Ah, that's all. Maybe it is you who are a spice. Yeah, but it seems you don't know all our secrets just yet. I saw the mine. You? You made it that far. I did. So, you... you Saw the base where we lived. Hmm. It must have been awful there. No, oh, we packed everything up in the big trucks before they left. You, you don't think we really live like that? You, you must have thought we were animals. Uh, no. No, I didn't think you were. Well, who says you're not? Oh, he's being funnier. He's getting drunk. Well, there's not much reason to lay off it now. So what were the rest of you doing out there? We uh, monitored that mine, checked for leaks, monitored for radiation levels. But we monitored other things too. Other mines? Not that, no. Your bomb tests? No. Your bomb tests. Our bomb tests. Yours. No, the British don't test out here. The Antarctic Treaty prevents them. It should prevent the Americans too. But this does not stop them. Oh, it's interesting what they have told you. Did they tell you to study our bombs? No. I mean, n not in those exact words. Did they tell you you would really be studying your own? Are you suggesting they lied to me? I don't know what they said, but our government, they lied to us. Well, my government wouldn't. Yeah, what? whatever you think, we know British bombs have been getting too close. Shock waves from one caused the landslide, killed two men. The, the Norwegian base? Yeah, I believe so. We don't test here, seems you do. And 
Each time your bombs uh, go, they, they, they make more places unusable, like the mine. Are you saying that's a, a British bomb that's going to go off? No. This bomb is Russian, and it will be dropped right over the mine. What? Wait, wait, you destroy your own mine? Yes, the mine is old. They can leave it. But they, they want to destroy it, to uh, keep it a secret. That's insane. Maybe they, they think it is better this way. Better than everyone discovering what they've been up to? Stockpiling uranium, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose so. Surely there'd be some kind of retaliation. Uh, maybe they think uh, they can just say it, it, it is a test. Ah, uh, it sounds bloody risky. The British and the Americans would expose it, surely. What, and risk uh, revealing that they have been breaching the treaty too? They are just as guilty. Ah, uh, it's all just flag waving. Bullshit, I don't care for it. I'm trying to stay clear of that stuff since the war. Still caught up with me. I also do not care about taking sides. I am tired of their secrets. I just want you to get home. We all want you to go home. Oh, we are all the same. Why not? Is there a plane with a bomb on it? And that is what the countdown means. And that's it. We're going to die here. Yes. Can't believe there's no fuel. No fuel. And no escape. Getting worse. He's keeping a stiff upper lip about it. I do not understand it. I don't worry, a British thing. <laughs> I did not think uh, my final cigarette would be British. Here. Yeah. Might as well go the whole hog. Not like I'm keeping it for later. Maybe not in your condition. I don't think he can hear me. When it comes, uh, what do we see? A uh, flash of light? It'll be quick, right? I hope so. Uh, that is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I wonder where it came from. <sighs> Bottom of the barrel, maybe. <sighs> oh. Ah, oh, he's coming round. Thought you were completely out you of said, it. You said you wonder where it came from. What? Something about barrels. Ah, yeah. So you did hear us, yes. Yes, mate, I was talking about barrels. Don't worry yourself. Unless you've seen some barrels full of fuel for this aircraft. I... I've seen barrels. I've seen... What's that? Barrels? What kind? What, what, what color do you paint your aircraft fuel barrels? Uh, 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 red, red, red with a, a white stripe. Yeah, I... I've seen them, lots of them. Where? Yeah, the British base, that way. What, you little beauty? Why, why didn't you say? I, 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 I didn't know. I, I didn't know they were for aircraft. How far is the base? I, I, it's not that far. It's, uh, it's walkable. No, we need one. Someone needs to go. Too right. Yeah, th there's only one who can go. What? No, no, he's in no fit state. No, he's fitter than you. You cannot walk. You could go. I have to fix the engine. We may already be too late. Come. We need rope. Hey, wh wh where are you going? We we need to pull the aircraft out of snow first. Come! Do we have the time now? Do we have the choice now? 
Come! Uh, you, you be careful with my baby. Don't mess up her tail. You count two, three. We pull together after. I'm barricading for you guys. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Bloody stuff! Top work! Good job! Don't give me that. What? We need your sober, you fool! Hey, that's for my leg, mate. I need that! You need to show me engine. And you, we need fuel now. You know which way to go. Towards that red light. So each way they're coming in. It, it can come in very fast. You need to be quick. You can't do this. We need you to do this. Please. I can do it. We will die if you can't. I, I need to fix engine. If I finish, I come. But you, you are on your own now. Please. Go! Go! to go. You promised. You lied. Away from me. Clara, wait. Not now. Clara, come back. It could have been so good, Peter. Well, wait, it, it is good. It's getting published. I'm not talking about the bloody paper, Peter. Christ, us! Well, we, we are good, aren't we? Well, you might be, but I'm not sure I know what's going through your mind anymore. After everything we've done, after you promised, promise you that. Promise you that? What? Ow! Clara! Don't you worry about me, Peter. I'll be fine. <laughs> Going to see your professor, were you? Oh, have more fun. I, I did go. I should have known you'd always back your little boys' club over me. You had no intention of telling him how much I've done. No, no, I, I told him. The word gets out, Peter. I didn't think it at the start, but you're just like the rest of them. You, of all people. Still, that's my fault, I suppose. Fault? No, no, nobody's a fault. <laughs> I thought you were different. Not introducing yourself as Doctor This or Doctor That when we met. Wait, no, no, I introduced myself as Doctor Hamilton, but that doesn't matter. Did you? And I suppose you didn't stay at my lecture-looking glum that time. 
then go on that march together. You don't take one sugar in your bloody tea. It's like when we were talking about living in that blue house by the sea. What was so frightening about that? Why the sudden panic? I, I, I didn't panic. We had a discussion. I don't remember one. Anyway, no, no, you're the one who's wrong. It was the red house, not the blue one. <laughs> your memory, Peter. I can't even thinking straight. Yes. I know what happened. I was there. Perhaps you were miles away again. Are you even here now? Yes. Here, yes, absolutely. Peter, were you ever here? I'm here now! I'm here. I'm not going to be fooled by this any longer. Do you actually believe yourself? I... I... I, I don't know. You betrayed me. I'm not forgiving that. I can bloody well promise you that. Peter, marvellous to see you. You've come at the right time. England are 37 for four. Terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. Something you wanted to let me know. Clara did half the work. She's owed the credit for it. Come, my friend. Up, up. It is not far. You, you nearly made it. Oh, I nearly made it. I was so close. Come on. We can do this together. Uh, teamwork. It is better with us both. Take that side. Push. Push. Stay straight. Stay straight. Straight. <laughs> and true. <laughs> straight and true. <laughs> come. Together, come. There is no time. Please. Let's get up. Could be ours though. This beautiful thing. If you wanted it to be. Come here.
last. What? The rain. Want to go back? Let's go. Okay. Follow me. This isn't the way back, is it? I know another way around. Don't worry. We'll get less wet. Wait! 